a shock. I'm still in shock, honestly. I still don't believe it. That's Jacqueline Gilmore telling us she never expected to hear the news about Ivan Adams. She tells us her ex-boyfriend owns the property where little Athena was found and that he and Ivan owned a fence building company together. Gilmore says she's never witnessed Ivan acting aggressive towards children. And he brought two kids with him a lot of the times, one or two kids to work, you know, and they helped him and there was never, I mean, he didn't even raise his voice. Gilmore says her ex-boyfriend hasn't talked or heard from Ivan in over a year. They don't talk because when the renting thing happened, they never paid rent there. Still, Gilmore says they're both struggling to understand how someone so quiet and shy could be accused of murdering a child. I mean, I've talked to him several times. I've seen him interacting. He was very quiet and shy, you know, but never raised his voice really. But I never felt like he was anybody that was capable of this. Never. I would have never guessed that. Gilmore also having one-on-one -on -one interactions with Ivan. He gave me a ride one time or two times maybe, and I'd never felt uncomfortable around him. He didn't even talk really. You know what I mean? He was just pretty quiet, but... He was really nice. I mean, docile. Gilmore sharing these photos with us of the property where Athena was found. And this picture, the two caregivers walking with their family, Ivan holding a baby and Alicia holding hands with one of the kids. Gilmore also tells us Alicia's mom's been active on Facebook defending her. But after backlash from people online, she's since deleted her Facebook account. In Caddo County, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. Taylor, thank you. And as of today, Ivan Adams is charged with first degree murder and child neglect. Alicia Adams is only charged with child neglect, but the DA told us at her court hearing that those charges may be amended at some point.